This is the notes video for chapter 6, lesson 6. Please make sure your book is open to page 476. Today we're going to be discussing multiplicative relationships, which use multiplication to compare the independent and dependent quantities of a relationship. Multiplicative relationships can be represented as tables, graphs, and equations in the form y is equal to a times x, where a is any rational number. If you look at this first example, it's asking us to determine if the relationship is multiplicative, and then we're going to have to explain. So uh, if we look at the input table, the independent quantity 7, something happens to it that it is now equal to 14 and then we have the independent quantity 8 something happens to it to become 16 and then we have the quantity uh, independent quantity 9 and it becomes 18 so as uh, it says over here on the left this can be explained by multiplying by 2 7 times 2 is 14 8 times 2 is 16, 9 times 2 is 18. So this is a multiplicative relationship. And then we have the next example uh, in which the independent quantities are 3, 5, and 8. And so something happens to 3 where it becomes 7. Something happens to 5 where it becomes 9. Something happens to 8 and it becomes 12. Now, we know the multiples of 3 are what? 3, go ahead and tell me the next few multiples of 3. Answer that for me, please. Okay, if you said 3, 6, 9, 12, you are correct. And we notice that 7 is not one of these multiples. But up here it says it could be any rational number. That includes decimals, and that includes fractions. So we can multiply 3 by something to equal 7 that is not a whole number. How do we figure that out? How can we figure out what times 3 is equal to 7? Go ahead and answer that for me, please. Okay, if we look back here, up here excuse me, at the equation, y is equal to a times x. So if we know that x is 3, then y is equal to 3 times a. How can I figure out what this a is? And we've just answered the question. We will do the inverse, which is divide. So if we divide both sides by 3, then all I have to do is take this y value and divide it by 3. So go ahead and solve that for me, please. Okay, the answer for that is going to be 2 and 3 tenths repeating because we keep getting the 1, 1, 1 forever. So if I multiply 3 by 2 and 3 tenths repeating, I do get 7. But does the same hold true for 5? 5 times 2 and 3 tenths repeating. If I put that in my little calculator, if you want to calculate that yourselves, you can. But 2 times 5, I know automatically off the bat, is 10. So 2.3 repeating times 5 is definitely going to be larger than 9. So that is not the case. Now, it's very clear also that this is an additive relationship because 3 plus 4 is 7, 5 plus 4 is 9, 8 plus 4 is 12 and we have proven the other way. It's definitely not multiplicative at all. All right, in the next example, uh, it shows us that the coefficient can actually be a number that's not a whole number, and we're going to prove that this is definitely multiplicative. Y is equal to one-fourth times X is a multiplicative relationship, and we'll do that by drawing a table. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my simple table. 
and you should be able with any single any graph that you ever have you should be able at this point to draw a table that's based on that graph and I'm going to try to make that clear there okay so the x value when the x value is 0 the y value is 0 that's the first point that I can tell from this graph and then when the x value is 4 the y value is 1 when the x value is 8 the y value is 2 okay now it's not obvious right away but we can do something to the number 4 to make it the number 1 we can do something to a number 8 to make it a number 2 okay and um, now we come up with one fourth, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to prove that if we have y is equal to a times x and my x value is 4 and I do not know um, what the a value is, but I do know by looking at the graph that the y value is 1 then I'm going to get rid of this 4 by dividing both sides by 4 and that becomes 1 a then is going to be equal to 1 fourth okay and so the other way of thinking about this is multiplying by something by 1 fourth is the same as dividing by 4 4 divided by 4 is 1 8 divided by 4 is 2 so all of these things connect to each other because of the fact family so this is a multiplicative relationship. The big thing that we need to remember, and we've, I've mentioned this before in other notes videos, is that multiplica multiplicative um, graphs always go through the origin. Okay, so looking at this, this example here, something happens to the x value to become the y value. What do we do to 2 to make it negative 6? What do we do to the 4 to make it negative 12? What do we do to the 6 to make it negative 18? It says to determine the relationship um, is multiplicative or not. Okay, so to get the y value, it's going to be equal to something happening to the x. So what do we do to 2 to make it negative 6? We multiply by negative 6. Is 4 multiplied by negative 3, sorry. So this is a multiplicative relationship. And by looking at this graph, is this an additive relationship or a multiplicative rela relationship? So tell me whether this is multiplicative or not, yes or no. Okay, the answer is no, because as you can see, this does not go through the origin. In fact, it's going to be, y is going to be equal to x, and we have a 0, x plus 2. Now we're going to compare additive and multiplicative relationships. And we've already talked about this a little bit um, in previous lessons and earlier in this lesson. You can compare two algebraic relationships verbally, numerically, graphically, and symbolically in the form of y is equal to a times x if it's multiplicative, and y is equal to x plus a in order to differentiate between additive and multiplicative relationships. In this example, it talks about one website where you can download songs for $2 each. Another website charges a fee of $10 more than the number of songs downloaded. Make the table for each website to show the relationship between the number of songs downloaded and the total cost y and then compare the tables so on the first site one song is two dollars so two songs is four dollars and so three songs is six dollars you're clearly multiplying by two each time on the second site one song would be that one song plus ten dollars and then the second song plus ten dollars is twelve the third song plus ten dollars is thirteen Okay, so the first table shows a ratio table. It, first uh, table shows a ratio table 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 3 to 6. So it can be written like this. Because these are equivalent ratios, 
The first table shows a proportional relationship and the second table does not. 1 over 12 and 2 over 12 and it's got 1 over 11, 2 over 12, 3 over 13. These are not equivalent fractions. So another way of proving this is multiplicative is by looking at the table to see if they create equivalent fractions that are proportional to each other. Okay, so then we look at this graph. When we graph the first table, it goes to the origin and it goes up by times two each time. And so two dollars for every single song and straight line going up. The second uh, graph is also a straight line but it doesn't go through the origin if you actually purchase zero songs there is still that ten dollar fee so it starts up here uh, on the y-axis at zero okay so this is an additive relationship and this is a multiplicative relationship so read through these notes uh, for more explanations of how they are different now if we write an equation uh, for each of these lines. The first one, the dependent quantities are two times the independent quantities. That's one way to describe it verbally. So it can be written as y is equal to two times x, a multiplicative relationship. And then on the second website, uh, the dependent quantities are 10 more than the independent quantities. So um, the relationship can be written as y is equal to x plus 10 and that's an additive relationship and you can see the operation here is um, addition this operation is multiplication but as we've talked about there's no such thing as a division relationship because when you multiply by a less than a whole number a fraction or decimal that's essentially division, so it, it can be described as multiplicative by a whole, uh, something that's less than a whole number. Same thing with additive relationships. There's no such thing as a subtractive relationship uh, when we uh, add negative numbers. That's when we would, uh, it would say uh, y is equal to x plus negative 10 possibly. It, so if it's addition or subtraction, it's an additive relationship. If it involves multiplication or division, it is a multiplicative relationship. And um, that's something we kind of have to, to um, wrap our brains around. The only two things we have to remember here are multiplicative, which involves either multiplication or division, and additive, which involves addition or subtraction. Okay.